I love it. I love it. And, and the reason that I love it is because this is Raven stepping way out of their comfort zone. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Ain Raven here with another video. And in this video, the Ravens have signed former Saints safety, free safety, to a $70 million, a five-year deal worth up to $70 million. That's an average of 14 mil per. So Ravens, they pay some big money for safety. And I love it because this gives them a safety that has some range. And they were missing that big time last year. He's been healthy. Uh, he's been consistent as far as the numbers that he puts up as a safety. If we could take a look at him really quick. Uh, 2017, he got 73 tackles, four interceptions. 18, he got 59 tackles, two interceptions. 19, he got 55 tackles, four interceptions. 20, he got 59 tackles, three interceptions. 21, he got 74 tackles and two interceptions. And now he gets to come to the Ravens. And something that I've been saying this offseason with Mike McDonald, Ravens' new defensive coordinator, it is going to be hard for him to fail if everybody's healthy. It is going to be so hard for him to fail if everybody stays healthy. Because you think about it, you got a Marcus Peters. Oh, we missed him big time last year. You got Marcus Peters. You got Marlon Humphrey. And now you got Marcus Williams. Then you got Chuck Clark. You got Patrick Queen and whatever else they do at linebacker, and then they got to get the D-line fixed and situated and whatnot. But bottom line, the Ravens just got to stay healthy, and that defense will be A-OK. -okay. But I love this move because this is, again, way out of the Ravens' comfort zone. They do not pay the big money to outside free agents. Their own pending free agents, they'll pay the big money to them. But outside guys, no. This is just... This is not very Raven-like, but the thing about this is one of the reasons why I love it so much is because it's something that's out of the norm for them, but the norm for the Ravens has been this okay level of success. Regular season's been cool. They've pretty much been winners in the regular season recently, but they ain't been able to get over these humps. There had been a lot of times where they had missed the playoffs. Um, and then, of course, once Lamar Jackson got there, they had been consistent playoff threats to make it there. But once they got there, they end up coming up short. But the Ravens had been still continuing to just go by this same motto for the longest. And this is a nice little shakeup. Now, they tried something like this a couple years back. And a lot of people questioned the signing when they signed Earl Thomas. They signed him for your safety. He was a good player. And when he was with the Ravens, he was still a good player. He did his thing here. Um, but it was just very out of their character to sign him for the big money that they did. And it, it worked for that year. He played great. He did have some little lapses here and there. Of course, the whole Derrick Henry stiff arm, the whole pulling up. He said, I ain't chasing no Nick Chubb. I ain't doing it. No, 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 no. And then sometimes he run his mouth a little bit too much. But overall... He was a good player for the Ravens. And then all that other stuff happened, and they were like, oh, man. See, we knew we shouldn't have spent the big money on a free agent. We went against the grain. We went against what we normally do, and it backfired. Man. But I do like that the Ravens are trying again. They're trying again. So this, what this does, this gives you your guy at safety. Now, Deshaun Elliott, he must have knew something about this yesterday. Because Deshaun Elliott, he, he tweeted something. That kind of gave you a, all right, well, yeah, we know he's probably not coming back. But this gives them their guy now. This gives them their proven guy, a proven player. And you know what? Let me check one more thing. Let me see how old Mr. Marcus Williams is. Let's see how old he is. I'm trying to find it right now, and I'm, I'm having trouble now. I'm having trouble finding how old he is. One second. Because that, that'll tell if the Ravens are really, if he's under 30, that'll really tell if the Ravens are like really way out of their comfort zone. Let me see. Marcus Williams, Saints, Wikipedia, waiting, waiting, waiting. Got to get better internet. It's, he was born in 96. Don't feel like doing the math. He's 25. He's 25. He's, 20, he's, he's 25 years old. What? What? Oh, yeah, this, this is like way out of the Ravens' comfort zone. You signing a player that's 25 years old? Wow, that's crazy. 
That's crazy. But I'm not mad. I, I'm I'm not mad like not one bit. And oh wow, that's that's just insane. And the the oldest he'll be will be 26 sometime this year. Wow. EDC's listening. He's listening. Now we still got to see what they do on offense, how they provide on offense, what they're going to do on offense. And one thing we cannot forget, one thing I want to make sure people don't forget, just because cause I know it's going to come. I know people are going to be like, oh, man, there they go. I'm only providing for the defense. Oh, these guys. One thing this lets you know is that, well, no, one thing to know, to keep in mind, just because they signed Marcus Williams, it does not mean that they cannot sign anybody else. It does not mean that they will not sign anybody else. Just because they signed him, it doesn't mean that that's it. Doesn't mean that, all right, well, we ain't getting no offensive lineman now. It does not mean that. Hopefully they take care of that. We just got to wait and see. Now, one other thing that one other reason why I really love this move is because it says that this is the Ravens saying, comp pick? Ah, whatever. Whatever. And this is something that I felt they needed to do for the longest Stop worrying about those comp picks. Don't worry about that. Now, with Bradley Bozeman, wherever he ends up going, that's to be determined. We'll see what happens with him. But you got to figure that if the Ravens don't re-sign Bradley Bozeman, then wherever he goes, that deal will qualify them for a comp pick. But this deal with Marcus Williams will disqualify that comp pick. It'll cancel it out. So then they'll be back to no comp picks. But then it's like you, you think about it, and it's like, hold up. Ravens got like 10 picks right now like in the draft. I don't, ho I don't want them to, and I don't hope they use all 10 of those picks. Like there's no way you can bring 10 rookies onto a team and you're in win-now mode and you expect all 10 rookies to really contribute. No, that's just that's unrealistic. So you can package some of those picks. You could trade for a play. Like really – Continue to show. Don't let this be the end. Don't let this be the end of it. Continue to show us, all right, we trying to get this thing done. We trying to make it happen. Now, another thing, another position this has an impact on. Lost Tavon Young. It's like, oh, man, lost Tay Tay. Okay. They cut him. All right. And we'll see what happens with him. We haven't heard any market on Tavon Young yet. But so Ravens could bring Tavon Young back. That's a possibility. But as far as the slot corner, who was their free safety last year? Well, they had a little mix. They had a little bit of Geno Stone. Obviously, some Deshaun Elliott before he got hurt. But then who ended the year off at free safety? Rookie, converted cornerback, slash converted running back, Brandon Stevens. Now, this allows him. You can still use him on some different packages and whatnot. But say, for instance, all right, everything doesn't go as planned as we hoped it would at the cornerback position. He knows how to play corner. He's physical. He's a good tackler as well. You could put Brandon Stevens back at corner. You could have him there. Or if, if you want to keep him at safety, cool, but he's obviously going to play some corner as well. So you have him as a fallback option in the secondary. You can have him do some different things. But you have, so you at, at cornerback right now, you have Marlon Humphrey, you have Marcus Peters, and you possibly also have Brandon Stevens. So... That gives you a little more flexibility. Now, with your defense, and we expect them to simplify the defense a bit. Uh, we don't expect them to be Wink Blitz happy, and that's not a shot at Wink. That's just who he was. We don't expect them to do that, but this really allows, it just makes stuff a lot better for the Ravens. Uh, because if you have a true free safety who can cover that field, and Marcus Williams can cover that field, he can cover that field. Um, this, get, this allows you to really put trust in him, put trust in everybody in front of him, and it just allows you to just do more. When, when you don't trust somebody on the back end in defense, oh, it can be a train wreck real fast. Real fast. And especially when you got somebody young back there, somebody that's unproven. And, even, and I'm not saying that just because somebody's unproven, they have opportunities to prove themselves. But now you have somebody that's already proven themselves, still young, is a playmaker, can make it happen. Not afraid to tackle either. Not afraid to come up and, and, and lay the hit, man. And that's big. That, that's huge, actually. So, good job, Ravens.
don't let this be the end all be all. Don't let this be it. But this is a good start. So we love it. I love it. But let's make sure that y'all don't stop here. I know y'all won't, but we're going to be waiting and we're going to be watching and we're going to see. But let's keep it moving. Love y'all team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. And just like Marcus Williams told New Orleans, and real quick, the C, I continue to say, New Orleans, the Saints and the Ravens, they forever tied. They will be forever tied. Always. Always. Because their players just go, they go back and forth to each other. All the time. It's been happening for a long time. And it ain't going nowhere. It's another example. But anyway, like Marcus Williams told the Saints, I'm out.